Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice because today we will be reviewing Blade, the 4K version. Right here. I know that I just did a video a little earlier about unboxing it, but hey, just popped it in, watched it again. I mean, not the 4K one that I, I bought. This is, but uh, not again. But uh, I have to say, this is one of my favorite vampire movies. The transfer is pretty good. It looks it looks better. Uh, sounds a little bit better. So it's worth it just for the crispness and everything. And it just sort of made it a little bit better. Just because it looked better. You notice a little bit of extra things in there, at least I did. Like uh, when dude's in the morgue, the Quinn, and he gets burned and he's down there and they're looking at him. Uh, you notice at one point, right before he attacks... The guy, you notice his eyes open, which you didn't see before. Or at least I never did. So there's little things that you notice because of the transfer and it, it looks better. Uh, because, you know, it's clearer so you can see little things like that. But as I rewatched the movie, there's a couple little things that just... Uh, questions that I had about the movie that came back to mind. Uh, one is Deacon Frost's plan. Deacon Frost, he's played by Stephen Dorff. Played wonderfully by Stephen Dorff. He, he chewed that character up figuratively and literally. I guess figuratively. But um, throughout the movie, he keeps referring to humans as cattle. And there are food uh, but when I was listening to him talk about his plan near the end, it reminds me of the question I had watching this before that it sounds like he's Lamagra, the blood god, is going to kill everybody, get rid of all the humans. And it's like, okay. Why would you want to get rid of your food? That really doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. It's like, yeah, let me get rid of the food so I can starve to death. That, that you know, just, unless I'm missing something or he didn't, uh, you know. I don't know. <laughs> that just seemed a little bit weird. Okay, and then there's... You know, you have, uh, I don't know if, yeah, this, obviously this is going to be a slight spoiler here, but uh, near the end of the movie, he's in, Play It infiltrates uh, Frost's quarters, and he's, he's in this room, and the coffin opens up, and there's his mother in there, and... You know that he knows what she looks like. This he had her driver's license from back when she dropped it when she was taken into the hospital. But she walks up to him and she starts calling him Eric. Which I mean, obviously, I guess you know, one if she died right when giving birth, she wouldn't know his name. Or two, he's what. 50 years old at this point, almost 50 years old at this point. How would she know what he looked like if she had never 
seen him before, unless possibly she knew through, you know, Frost. But I'm just how the hell does she know what his name is or what he looked like? Other than that, I mean, it was a fantastic movie. I all the uh, characters were really kind of enjoyable. I loved how the fact that they didn't have this, you know, relationship between uh, the Doctor and Blade. I mean, they were just they treated her as a professional. She was she was pretty much able to handle herself handle herself. Uh, they didn't have the, oh, let's fall in love type of thing. Uh, and thoroughly enjoyable movie. And uh, yeah, 4K does, does it justice by making it a better viewing experience. So, yeah, I'm just going to give, I'm going to give the movie a 4.25 just because you know, there are a couple little things in there that you're like, huh, what, what, well, that doesn't make sense, but it's a great popcorn movie, great you know, movie if you're into vampires and all that stuff, so it's, I think it's in my top five of vampire movies, so, and it's got one of my favorite movie quotes ever in it, and it's right near the end. When he's in the sword fight with, uh, or during the final battle with, with uh, Frost, uh, Blade said, just looks at him and goes, some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill, which is pretty much the story of my life, but hey, we won't you know, delve into that too far, but anyway, uh, yeah, great, great movie, great, you know. Great transfer on there, and uh, this is one of the movies that I guess helped start the comic book movies. I mean, and uh, he will uh, always be my blade. Wesley Snipes will always be my blade. I hope uh, what's his name does a better job or as good of a job. And Marvel needs to make their movie R. If they don't, there's no point. Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments below whether you've seen this version of it, the 4K, which I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any extra scenes in there or anything. But let me know if you thought it was a better transfer. Uh, and uh, like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your vampire movies.